नॉर्मली इस इंस्टीट्यूट्स में एडमिशन लाने के लिए गेट मैकेनिकल लेकिन आपके यू नो जो ब्रांच होता है वो ब्रांच में गेट देना पड़ेगा लेकिन इंजीनियरिंग मैथ्स के अलावा यू हैव फोर्टीन टू फिफ्टीन अदर सब्जेक्ट्स ओके एंड फ्रॉम दिस फिफ्टीन सिक्सटी और फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन सब्जेक्ट्स और मे बी नाइनटीन इन केस ऑफ ट्रिपली एंड यू नो गेट एग्जाम इज फॉर हंड्रेड हंड्रेड मार्क्स एक्चुअली सो रिमेनिंग सेवेंटी मार्क्स विल बी फ्रॉम एनी ऑफ द टू सब्जेक्ट्स दट यू पिक ओके आउट ऑफ द सेवन सब्जेक्ट्स विच टू सब्जेक्ट शुड आई पिक फॉर माई गेट एग्जामिनेशन ओके सो आई एम टेलिंग यू गेट यू शुड फिक्स द सब्जेक्ट्स वेल इन एडवांस एंड यू शुड प्रिपेयर ओनली दो टू सब्जेक्ट्स हेलो स्टूडेंट्स कैसे आप सभी लोग so i hope all of you are preparing well for your gate examination so it's roughly 25 days left for your final gate examination so main is video mein aapko ek gate exec ke liye pura details main aapko deta hu and also i'll discuss about the complete strategy on how to get very good marks in gate exec and also how to tackle the subjects actually okay so straight away going to the points so first why do you add gate exec is because all these institutes what i have you know placed here they offer mtech course program admissions based on your gate exec score okay so normally is institutes mein admission lane ke liye gate mechanical lekin aapke you know jo branch hota hai wo branch mein gate dena padega lekin gate exec se is sare institutes mein gate admission bhi mil i mean mtech admission or masters admission bhi milega aapko theek hai and if you see the institutes list we have iisc bangalore which is the topmost of course and the five old iits madras bombay kanpur kanpur and delhi and also this recently to in you know institutes basically hoki and also gohati and of course these are the eight institutes which also can organize gate examination apart from that in all of the recently new iits also we have you know mtech admissions based on uh, this gate exec score previously there is also niti niti from uh, niti is basically now it's converted to iim mumbai actually okay in the recent parliament bill but that stopped giving admission based on gate because it has separate cat exam as per iims uh, you know guidelines so these are the institutes where you can get Uh, you know core branches as the same uh, branches as of your gate mechanical or civil whatever okay now if you see there is a slight pattern change in gate in uh, gate exe actually as compared to the other exams normally gate mein kya hota hai engineering maths ke alawa you have 14 to 15 other subjects okay and from this 15 16 or 14 15 subjects or maybe 19 in case of tripli so from the remaining subjects you will get generally remaining 70 marks okay so 72 marks actually here but in case of gate exe you have dedicatedly 15 marks for general aptitude as you know and also engineering mathematics also for 15 marks okay so these two contribute to a total of 30 marks actually here and out of seven other subjects you have to choose any two subjects okay so two out of seven choices see once these two subjects are definitely mandatory for you then you have remaining seven subjects like i would like to write here a bit xcb fluid mechanics fluid mechanics okay xcc material science you have material science material science of course and xcd solid mechanics which is basically your strength of materials which some of you might have studied already and xee is basically thermodynamics thermodynamics then you have xcf okay so basically this is polymer science and engineering polymer science and engineering science and engineering okay engineering then after xe g you have food technology food technology and also xe h atmospheric and ocean sciences okay so we have atmospheric atmospheric and ocean sciences actually here ocean sciences so if you see normally in gate exe examination these two are compulsory subjects general aptitude and engineering maths which comes for 15 and 15 remaining 70 marks will generally come from any uh, you know basically in gate exe all these subjects have 22 questions each okay so each subject has 22 questions each subject has 22 questions 22 questions for 35 marks for 35 marks and you know gate exam is for 100 100 marks actually so remaining 70 marks will be from any of the two subjects that you pick okay like for example normally the mechanical engineering students they pick one out of these three in gen i mean sorry two out of those three subjects similarly if you are from food science or other disciplines normally you can take food technology and maybe fluid mechanics things like that okay so which two subjects you pick that purely depends on your interest okay but you have to pick any two subjects out of these seven and from each subject you will have 35 marks each okay so this 35 and also this 35 marks so total it contributes for 70 and 30 it makes 100 actually okay so in gate examination you have to prepare only two technical subjects 
and it's not like the general other uh, other gate papers where you have to finish the complete syllabus of course okay so you can pick only any two subjects for your preparation and you can start preparing okay now i would like to discuss one this important point how you actually appear for this gate exe examination so firstly you should look for syllabus variations okay so जो सिलेबस होता है ना सो सिलेबस में हमारा होम ब्रांच मतलब पेपर वन से कंपेयर से यू हैव सर्टेन स्लाइट डिफरेंस लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू मैकेनिकल वर्सेस मैथ्स ओके सो दिस इज एक्सी मैथ्स सिलेबस व्हिच आई हैव डाउनलोडेड फ्रॉम गेट 2024 ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट ओके सो इफ यू सी नॉर्मली इफ यू आर फॉर मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग फॉर एग्जांपल यू डोंट हैव दिस डायगोनलाइजेशन and camel cali have written them is anyhow involved somewhere in the eigen values but diagonalization of matrices is not in mechanical syllabus okay so in if you want to give xc then you have to definitely study this diagonalization of matrices and i want to tell you one important thing jo extra topics hai us topic se har saal definitely questions aate hai okay so you can even check the previous papers always there is always a question from the special topics at some time okay so if you see calculus calculus is almost the same functions of two variables is also same but in sequence and series this is completely a new module which you don't have in mechanical okay so therefore in sequences and series you have certain tests the ratio test integral test okay quaternion test all this uh, tests were there but definitely you can uh, again Uh, see this syllabus okay it's not like you cannot find it you can find it but the main thing is you have to cover the 100% of the syllabus okay because almost every twice in 3 years questions comes from these extra topics okay cali diagonalization or sequence and series okay things like that now at the same time there are few topics which are not there in xc but they in mechanical also okay very few okay so if you see vector calculus you don't have this stokes theorem and gauss divergence theorem here okay you have only up to green's theorem and also line integrals no surface and volume integrals in gate xc syllabus of maths okay similar in case of complex variables you don't have complex integration till 2021 complex integration was also there in the syllabus but then after it was deleted okay so complex integration was not there it talks about basic polar representations then you know only co uh, complex differentiations but again in ordi ordinary differential equations you have this eigen value problem and series solutions so these two are excess topics which were there in get xc okay so and even last year there was a question from eigen value problems of differential equations okay so power series solutions is also again one very important uh, you know uh, discipline many of the differential equations which were not able to solve using classical methods they can be solved using power series solutions actually and in partial differential equations this test a bit on this uh, laplace equation and also the one dimensional diffusion basically heat equations okay so anyway if i keep talking there will be lot of uh, sections okay similarly probability and statistics you will have one extra topic like uh, this correlation and regression in numerical methods you have this interpolations so there are certain extra topics where you have to put your focus on okay because questions are mandatory from the, uh, you know not mandatory else but they generally ask uh, questions from this special topics every year okay out of 10 questions uh, sorry eight questions in you know yeah Uh, 15 marks right so of uh, roughly 10 questions in maths so definitely you have questions from this special two three questions definitely from this special topics okay so you should definitely handle the syllabus variations okay 100% or you can say completion of completion of 100% syllabus this is very very important for xc because i'll just tell you the reason why even in case of technical subjects okay normally if you go for gate mechanical or your home branch then definitely what happens from 14 15 subjects out of 14 15 subjects they'll have to set the remaining you know uh, 50 questions odd okay so in every subject they'll set only 2 to 3 questions so that even if you skip some topics you know it can be possible that those questions may not come okay but in this question like in this uh, gate xc every subject has 22 questions okay so let's say when i'm giving 22 questions from fluid mechanics i cannot skip any uh, you, you know hardly i can skip any topics okay so therefore 100% syllabus completion is mandatory in case of gate xc examination okay and secondly deciding the subjects in advance okay so many people have this doubt like out of the seven subjects which two subjects should i pick for my gate examination okay so i'm telling you guys you should fix the subjects well in advance and you should prepare only those two subjects never think that in exam depending upon the paper's complexity i'll decide on all no it's not going to work okay because i'll tell you let's say for example you solve some 10 questions of a subject and then feeling the subject difficult then you have wasted your important time precious time on those 10 questions which you are not able to finally submit okay so therefore you should not waste on A any subject other than that two allotted sub or, or two chosen subjects by you clear so therefore let's say for example if i decide fluid mechan fluid mechanics and thermodynamics xcb and xce for example then my point of interest would be only those two subjects okay and many students have this doubt when to pick the subjects okay means when should i decide which to matlab like uh, in gate examination while writing gate examination how to prefer my choices i'll just show you a mock test okay mock test if i go to gate 2024 yeah this is the website 
So if I go to home page, okay, and in this home page, you can see there is something called mock test here, okay. So in mock test, you can click on mock test and I strongly recommend that you write one mock test, okay. So attempting a mock test prior to gate is very much important, especially for XE, okay. So if you see, if you go for engineering sciences, mock test, okay. So this is exact replica of gate because it's the in gate website, of course. So if you click sign in, then next declaration ready to begin so if you see of course instructions will be there in well advanced and at any point in the exam if you need instructions you can click on view instructions that instructions page gets displayed okay at any point you can uh, display the instructions actually clear so anyway right now if you see this is the question paper now these two are compulsory general aptitude and engineering maths are definitely 100 percent compulsory for you now out of the remaining seven subjects you see fluid mechanics material science solid mechanics and all the subjects you can see here, if I try to mark this option, it will it will get marked, of course, general aptitude. If I click on fluid mechanics, and if I try to mark this option, it won't get marked, you can see. I'm clicking on the option, but it's not getting highlighted. The reason is, if you are willing to write fluid mechanics as one of your subject, you should first tick this tick mark, okay? So if you if I remove the tick, okay, you can see, if I, if, without tick, if I try to attend the options, you cannot mark them, okay? So if you just tick the subject, and then you can mark easily okay so like for example you can say you can mark now okay now let's say my other preference is solid mechanics for example then i click on solid mechanics okay i click on solid mechanics then i can start writing maybe 56 i can enter the answers okay so next question i can enter one of the options like this okay now let's say apart from these two subjects you cannot attempt any third subject because see here i have already marked about fluid mechanics and solid mechanics let's say if i want to answer some question from material science material science if I want to answer for material science, it's showing a disclaimer that you have marked these two subjects. So clear any one of the subjects. Like for example, if you see, I have answered this one one question in both. So let's say in fluid mechanics, if I don't want to write fluid mechanics, for example, okay, I want to go with solids and material science, then I can click this reset and click on reset. Then definitely fluid got vanished and you can see I can start marking material science then. Okay. So this is how you choose the subjects at the examination point of time. Okay. So but Choosing only should uh, be in exam point of time, but preparing should be well in advance. So prepare only for two subjects and I wish and I strongly recommend that you write only those two subjects in the uh, great examination. And as I told you all the times, so this is the question paper tab. Like for example, you can see the complete questions as a single PDF. So recently we have done one video on how to attempt the uh, exam in gate okay so you can see all the questions actually okay and compare coming to the difficulty levels the questions of gate xc will be slightly complicated as compared to the your normal uh, main band subject okay like mechanical or ec or uh, i think ec cannot write but mechanical or civil or some other disciplines okay because here the number of subjects are very limited so whatever they ask you in the subjects they'll ask you to the in in-depth concepts okay so therefore this paper is slightly a bit of uh, more level as compared to your normal home branch papers okay so anyway this question paper tab is very important so definitely please utilize this question paper tab and also guys i would like to tell you one thing whenever you write exam as i tell you generally you make the paper get attempted in three rounds actually here around two and also around three actually okay so how do you attempt this is basically once you open your gate examination, you can by clicking on this question paper tab, okay, so you can see this is the question paper tab. So if you click on that question paper tab, all the questions come as a PDF. Now let's say, for example, if I'm starting fluid mechanics, for example, okay, one such subject. Let's say, for example, I'm starting one subject, okay. So how I will generally spend my time is, okay, so question number one, I'll just go through the question quickly, then I'll decide out of these three rounds in which I want to solve this question. So in round one, familiar and easy questions, familiar and easy like once you see the question you'll get the clarity of from which concept the question is asked and also to what depth or what is the easiness in the calculation you might have seen such questions well in advance by solving pyqs or something so definitely i suggest you to put that kind of questions in round one okay so when you are attempting the question paper so out of the 65 questions first pick those set of questions which are familiar to you and also easy which are which you have seen them many times okay so such kind of questions so round two familiar concept but not easy but not easy maybe few questions there could be like you have to apply two three concepts to get the final answer or maybe calculation could be hectic so i suggest you keep those questions in the second round okay and finally definitely if by chance if you don't cover 100 percent of your syllabus then you will put your unfamiliar topics 
all questions here but in the first 10 minutes of the examination please go to this question paper tab okay so please go to this question paper tab and decide on which questions you have to solve first because if i don't use this question paper tab i can see only one question at a time okay and depending on you know let's see if the first two three questions are complicated in your paper then your confidence levels will go down drastically okay so therefore first go for the question paper tab and then fix the num questions okay so like, like around one maybe be question number two four seven nine okay 13 15 so let's say you sort out numbers okay so depending on the numbers you work out the paper okay and gate xc is like very powerful tool because in recent years also in 2023 also majority of the people who got admitted to mtex in central institutes they got admitted to gate uh, xc in core branches okay because i myself have uh, seen okay so therefore this gate xc is like one powerful tool because normally in case of mechanical if you see mechanical exam gets finished finishes first in this week uh, i mean in this year 2024 february 3rd your gate your mechanical exam gets finished then after you have one week time to focus on your gate xc examination if you have applied for both of course so definitely it's a very you know it's a good opportunity for you to spend some time on xc if even though if your mechanical exam didn't go as expected then definitely you can put some time on gate xc clear so these are the things so one thing i thought of telling you is basically this two subjects choice and how to decide the two subjects in during the exam time i have shown you using the mock test link okay so this is the mock test i have told you this checking in of subjects is important and at the same time you have to attempt a mock test before going so that to get in hand with all the uh, things okay and also you know calculator will not be allowed inside the gate exam because you have the virtual calculator here if you click on virtual calculator you can perform the calculations okay so that's it okay this question paper tab and calculator are very much important and always put an important thing on your timer okay because many times what happens students they go for solving the questions okay first 15 20 minutes they'll be looking at the timer then after they'll fall in the loop of solving the questions okay they forget about the timer and they'll see when there are some 10 to 15 questions left but only 20 minutes is left okay then it's it's a difficult situation for you so always keep an eye on the timer and please go for this question paper tab and calculator at any point if you have doubt please go for view instructions okay and also you can see marks for every question is displayed here like for example in this question two marks for correct answer since it's a numerical answer type you don't have negative marking that's it okay so you can uh, uh, give me a mock test depending on your comfort so that it could easy the job actually okay so these are the details i thought of putting together in this video so if you have any further doubts regarding gate xc you know you can always ask me at this place this is my telegram id so already some 600 plus members are there here okay so these guys keep discussing the good stuff actually about the subjects gate examination all the things so if you have any doubts you can definitely join there okay and I think there's no space in between, but you can, yeah, just type it out. You can get the groups. Okay. So I wish you all the best for your gate examination. And at any point, if you feel that I can help you out, you can reach me out there. Okay. So thank you all. I wish you all the best. Bye.